Hello everyone, my name is Dr. Sagar Bhargav. I'm a cataract glaucoma and refractive surgeon. In this video, we will be trying to understand an important topic with regard to cataract. Now, when patients go to a doctor and they get diagnosed as cataract, a lot of times, doctor will tell you that your cataract has become very hard. He will tell you that your cataract surgery will have higher chance of complication. He will tell you that the cataract that is formed is because of some other issue or in other words, it's because of some other pathology or secondary causes. Sometimes he will tell you that the cataract will progress very fast. So you need to get operated as soon as possible. Now on what basis does he tell all these things? Well, the answer is very simple. He is basically speaking about the type of cataract because each individual type of cataract has individual characteristics. And once we understand what type of cataract a person is suffering from, we can say many things about that particular case. For example, once we know that the type of cataract, we can tell with certainty what will be the rate of progression, how much disturbance it will cause to the vision. Some cataracts can cause problems in early stage itself, whereas some cataracts will cause vision issues only towards the very advanced stage of cataract. Thirdly, certain cataracts are prone to develop complications during surgery. So once you identify these types of cataracts beforehand, it will give you chance to prepare yourself better to deal with it during the surgery. Fourth point is that identifying a particular type of cataract will help us in detecting the cause of cataract. And if that cause is still persisting, at least the other eye can be prevented from developing cataract by taking care of this particular cause. Now before moving on to the types of cataracts, first we try to understand what is cataract. Now in the eye there is something called as a lens which is a biconvex structure present in the front one third portion of the eye. It allows the light to pass uh, without any obstruction and to converge at a point. Now when, a, when the opacification of this natural lens happens, this is called as cataract and it, this will interfere with transmission of the light and formation of image on the retina. When we go into more details, this lens has a covering called as lens capsule and then there is something called as actual lens matter which is present within this lens capsule. Lens capsule has got two parts. The front part is called as anterior lens capsule and the back part is called as posterior lens capsule and the lens structure is made up of two important components one is the central most zone of the lens which is called as lens nucleus and then there is overlying zone which we call it as lens cortex this understanding is very important because the type of cataract will depend on point of origin within the lens structure now let us see how cataract is classified based on its origin so if the opacification is in the central nucleus of the lens, it's called as nucleus cataract. If the opacification is in the lens cortex, it's called as cortical cataract. Opacification just before the posterior lens capsule, it's called as posterior subcapsular cataract. And just below the anterior subcapsule, anterior lens capsule, it's called as anterior subcapsular cataract. When we see the lens from the front front view, and if the, there is a opacification exactly in the center of the lens, it's called as polar cataract or anterior polar cataract. Similar opacity on the posterior lens capsule is called as posterior polar cataract. Now, posterior polar cataract has a risk during the surgery because it is sometimes tightly adherent to the posterior capsule. So, while removing the cataract, this area of capsule may give way and the lens matter may drop in the back portion of the eye called as vitreous cavity and then it has to be taken out using a different approach using a vitrectomy machine by a retina specialist now let us look at the type of cataract as classified by your doctor the first is cortical cataract one of the common types of cataract as we discussed that it starts in the lens cortex and usually starts from periphery of the lens and slowly comes towards the center once it comes in the patient's visual axis, it causes symptoms like glare, difficulty in driving, etc. In some cases, it may progress very fast, like in patients with diabetes, uncontrolled diabetes. The photo that you see now shows different grades of cortical cataract. The ones on the right side obviously are very advanced, 
cortical cataract and would need surgery. Next is the nuclear cataract. It's another common type of cataract which arises from lens nucleus. Its characteristic is it's a very slowly progressive type of cataract. As the progression happens, sometimes the minus power of the spectacle keeps on increasing. That's an in indirect, indirect hint that the cataract is progressing. Surprisingly, in this type of cataract, the vision may not be hampered till a very advanced stage of cataract is achieved. But other point is that in very advanced stage, cataract becomes very hard. Now what we see here is a photograph showing different grades of cataract. As the cataract becomes very dense with time, it becomes brown or black. Now, the photos on the extreme right is something that uh, we should avoid in all situations because harder the cataract, there is a more high risk. Or, there is a higher risk of complications during the surgery. So, uh, the circled photo that is seen is the time when it is the best point to operate. Not very hard and not very soft. So the decision to operate may at times we have to be taken in spite of patient having good vision in order to avoid hard stage of the cataract. Subcapsular cataract, it is also a common form of cataract and we have seen that it can be anterior or posterior. Posterior subcapsular cataract is more common. Peculiarity about, the, about this cataract is that even a minimum amount of cataract can cause significant discomfort and severe symptoms like glare at night and inability to read. In young patients, it may be a side effect of steroid drop use over a long period or sometimes uh, consumption of oral steroids for some uh, systemic uh, health condition. The picture here shows different grades of cataract. In general, this type of cataract will need an early intervention because patients are highly symptomatic. Polar cataract. This is a rare type of cataract and as discussed, it can be anterior or posterior polar cataract. Posterior polar cataract is more common and it usually presents in third or fourth decade of life. Symptoms are mainly difficulty in seeing in strong light reading glare at night. Surgery is planned with special precaution because of the risk of lens matter drop in the back portion of the eye as we discussed in the earlier part. Now let's look at some special forms of cataract. Rosette cataract or a stellate cataract. It is a rare type of cataract and it indicates that the patient had past history of injury. As we can see this cataract looks like a flower hence the name rosette. Important thing to understand in this type of cataract is that outcome of cataract surgery can be variable because in this condition there can be association of other issues like glaucoma, retinal or optic nerve damage which can be as a result of the primary injury. Coming to zonular cataract, it's usually seen in younger children now when we talk about lens development it's a process that continues right during pregnancy and even after birth so what happens is the lens fibers developed layer by layer so if during any stage of development any issue happens that particular layer will become opaque so the area inside the cataract would be transparent and area outside would be transparent it can happen because of uh, genetic reasons or because of vitamin D deficiency or due to maternal malnutrition. Symptoms can vary from mild uh, vision issues to severe vision problems and surgery would depend on how much that cataract has affected the vision. Another form of cataract is mature cataract. So this is the end stage of any cataract and it happens when cataract is neglected for a very long time. So as we can see, it, it presents like a white spot in the eye and uh, in this situation, patient cannot see anything except for light perception. If this is left untreated, it can give rise to complications like acute pain, pain, redness due to rupture of cataract, 
while dealing with this type of cataract intraoperatively there is a higher risk of complications so it is always advisable that one should not main, wait for a complete maturity of the cataract thus to sum up this knowledge will help you to understand what your doctor is planning thus making things easier to take a decision in case of any queries feel free to put questions in the comment box thank you so much